toys today. Yeah, we are in seven locations this morning, including the ones you see here, Portland, Waterville, and Newport. We're going to check in on those crews in just a second. We've been looking on social media all day. I know everybody is having a blast out there, and it is getting a little competitive. It's already been a good turnout, <laughs> it seems, so far, and it's early on, and sometimes we have to like, like to have a little friendly competition sure. between uh, drop-off zone. Yeah, so. it's always very friendly, yeah. right? Um, we're going to see some more locations. We're also in Auburn, Bangor, Augusta, and Sanford today. There's everyone. Wave and say hi. We're going to start off with our morning report crew in Sanford. Look at that crowd, and I see you guys already have uh, some giant piles of clothes and toys in your hands. Oh yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, we've had quite a turnout already here. One donation. Like this is This the, is one donation. Yeah, yes. One donation we've had more than one donation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Let's make that clear. <laughs> we've had a lot of donations. <laughs> we've had numerous donations and it's actually no surprise. We have uh, Lieutenant Raylene from the Salvation Army here with us and this community always shows up big for this event. Yes, yes they do. Um, every year we get lots of coats from this and um, the coats uh, help out the people in the community. Uh, I have coats hanging up right now in my building. Um, we've been passing out coats since because um, it got cold in like early October and we've been passing yeah. out coats since October and it's just it's just amazing how this community just comes together and brings out so much um, just brings out so much like we've got all these things here um, there's already been a couple of loads of coats that have come out already so that's amazing and you know I, I have to say a couple of years ago I actually heard a rumor that Someone asked me, I've heard that you guys have collected so many coats that they're overflowing and they have warehouses of them and that there's more than, than meets the need. And that's not even true, is it? No. And I mean, we have we have a need. There's a need in Sanford. There's a need in almost every community for coats. And mm -hmm. um, it's just amazing to see that this that people come through with it. And Give me an example of what you see when people come in to get coats. It must warm your heart. It, it does. They come in and they see um, there's a wall along our building and it, they come in and they see the coats and they say, oh, I need a coat. Can I get one? And we're like, of course, just let us know how many coats you need and go ahead and grab it. And they're like, oh, well, I know my niece needs one too. Can I grab one for her? And, and they'll just, they'll, they'll find the ones that they need and they'll, they'll take them and they, and they say, wow, these are amazing coats. And it's just really heartwarming to know that they're going to warm somebody up this winter. Well, thank you all at the Salvation Army for everything you do with this campaign, and thank all of you who have donated so far. Lee's Aaron, got the goods when here. it comes to toys. <clears throat> yes, we've got uh, sleds. This is yes. This is sleds. like what they had in uh, uh, Christmas red vacation. Red socks, jacket. That's pretty cool. And you know, you don't think of things like this, but boots are pretty important too. I mean, we we get the coats, gloves, hats, scarves, but boots too. And my favorite coat that we've got so far. Ooh. Ooh. Old school, school Patriots. Old school <laughs> Patriots. All right. Many, many locations yeah. where you can come out and see members of the News Center team, including in Bangor. Let's check in with them now. Yeah. Hey, Sharon. Hey, News Center main morning team. Sam Rogers just showed up. Can we look at his sweater real quick before we even get started on this? It's perfect, you know, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, we're here in Bangor, and we are collecting all kinds of jackets and coats and things like that, and we just got these toys. Sam, what is, what is yours? See, I got one of those bouncer hoppers, and I actually had one of these as a kid. You know, you're bouncing along on the sidewalk while other kids are on their scooters and bikes, and I actually do remember slipping on the ice and falling, hitting my head. It was a whole ordeal. So if you do uh, give one of your kids this gift for Christmas, make sure they're safe on those icy sidewalks. Safer than Sam. That's all we need. All right, we're also going to introduce Captain Rebecca Kirk with the Salvation Army. Um, so we're collecting all these things today. How are they distributed? Uh, so the Salvation Army on December 19th is going to be distributing all the new coats and toys that are donated today. So there are hundreds of families that have signed up for assistance, and I just know that when they open that thing on Christmas morning, when they see the new toy, the very safe bouncer, the, the uh, new coat that they're going to be able to wear. It just makes such a difference for us. And for people who are still looking to purchase new coats, we're always looking for children's, boys and girls coats, sizes between 810 and 1416. Those are our most requested sizes. So if you're out there shopping for those, uh, those are the sizes that we're looking for. 
And our new center main uh, weather team has done a fantastic job this winter, predicting storms, telling us when it's going to be cold, when we need to wear these cat sweaters. <laughs> uh, have you seen, you know, an increase in demand of coats this winter because it's just been so cold? Yeah, absolutely. We've seen requests for winter coats as early as October 1st this year, and then when we moved into that very cold November. Um, so people are able to come to our location at 65 South Park Street at any time. Our office hours are 9 to 3, and they can just come in and request a coat. And we have coats of all sizes. They've been freshly cleaned by Pat, uh, Pratt Abbott, which is just such a huge help to us, and they're able to receive the coats for free. So that's one of the awesome things. The new coats will go right out to kids at Christmas, but then the used coats. Um, and so many of us have gently used coats just sitting in our closet. So what an awesome opportunity to come, have them cleaned, and then we get them right back out to the community. And speaking of Pratt Abbott, that is where we find our Portland team, Samantha York, Pat Callahan, and Beth Brogan. How's it looking down there? Oh, it's great, guys. Thanks. Uh, because we're at Pratt Abbott, and they're the people who dry clean all of the coats over the coming months to make sure they're distributed, all the used coats, uh, it's a time for a good tutorial. This is a toy. This is not. The plastic bag is not a toy. So we throw that away. And we keep in the toys. And we've gotten so many from people so far this yeah, morning. It's been great. We had toys. one man who brought in like six or seven bags full of unwrapped toys to donate to the yeah. kids. So and one woman uh, grandmother brought in 60 yes. pairs of mittens that she had she knitted. She spent the whole yeah, the year. the whole bag is here. The yeah. whole year knitting mittens. Because she's my grandkids can only wear so many. They only have two hands each. Right. You know. right. <laughs> right. That was great. They're so soft. Yeah, They're really no, nice. It's nice work. It's fantastic. And, you know, yeah. obviously all of this helps the Salvation Army. Uh, we actually have Lily here with Springer's Jeweler. If you guys want to come, come on over here. We have Lily with Springer's Jeweler and Hi. Tony with the Salvation Army and you have a donation this morning. Yeah, we have a donation check to give to the Salvation Army that helps transport the coats from point A to point B and then also along with our clients we were able to bring $5,000 worth of toys um, wow. which I want to say Rennie's gave us a discount on all of them. So thank you to Rennie's, thank you to our clients and thank you to Coats for Kids. Wow, thank you so much. What does this type of donation mean to you guys? Uh, this this is uh, so wonderful uh, that you're sharing in such a beautiful way to our community. Um, we couldn't do it without you, honestly. Uh, the coats that are necessary all the time throughout the year. We've given over uh, 10,000 already uh, this, this year alone. And then the toys on top of that, all the partners that we have here with Pratt Abbott, cleaning mm -hmm. them and then paying for the storage to keep them. It's just, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to our community and a blessing to us. And we're just thankful to be part of it. Thank you for your generosity. Well, thank you for letting us be a part of it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank and, you so much. And we, and we had that note that we talked about earlier in the morning uh, from a volunteer yep. about how you know Maine uh, is can be such a cold place physically, mm -hmm. but it's such a warm place in that people really understand what it takes to help the community. There's many people who will come in and donate and say, well, it's because I needed help at right. some point, mm -hmm. or I, I, right. my neighbors needed help, and now that I can do something, I want to do it. And, and they teach their kids how to do that, too, yeah. which, which really gets you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, too, you're reminded, Christmas and the holidays, it can be expensive. And to see these people who just come with these bags of toys, <laughs> for people they don't even know, it's just, it's, um, it's amazing. All right, Ryan and Jess, back to you. All right, guys, thank you so much. It looks like a lot of fun out there. Yeah, and well a lot said of on uh, warm hearts on a cold day. Exactly. Yeah. All right, well, we are not done collecting coats and toys for kids yet. We're going to check in with more of our teams gathered around the state. That's after the break. That's right, and if you can't make it out today, here's another reminder about how you can donate. We have donation bins at all Hannaford, Shaw's, and Pratt Abbott locations around the state. I saw one yesterday. We are collecting toys until December 15th and coats until the end of the month. We'll be right back with our Coats and Toys for Kids special.
Welcome back to our 2019 Coats and Toys for Kids Day Special. Of course, today we're asking you to come out to seven locations across the state to donate new or gently used coats and new unwrapped toys, all to help kids be happy for the holidays. That's right, and we visited three locations before the break. Now let's get out to the remaining four. Right now, some of our new center <laughs> main familiar faces are in Augusta, Waterville, Newport, and Auburn. And we're going to start in Augusta where Keith Carson, Jess Conley and Don Kerrigan are today. And I know it's a cold one out there, but not too bad. Pretty good weather for people to come out and visit you meteorologist right. and Don. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we don't have a little dome of warmth over us here in yeah. Augusta with the power of you two guys. <laughs> yeah, Jess, I don't know about not too bad. It's pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a what, probably 15 to 20 degrees right now. But yeah. no, yes, people are still coming out. Right, but it's a beautiful morning and we are outside. You're wondering what's wrong with us. We're outside <laughs> because our old friend and a great supporter of Coats and Toys for Kids, Big Al from Wiscasset with his Gorilla Pal, just rolled in with his uh, big horsepower sleigh, freighted up with material. Al, what did you bring? I brought 2,000 toys. I brought several hundred pairs of socks. I brought gloves. I brought hats. Never had socks before. Figured the kids need socks this year besides everything else. Yeah. And we have science kits and puzzles and games and little jewelry sets for girls. All kinds of stuff the kids are going to love on Christmas. Oh, that's great. Well, as I mentioned, you've been a terrific supporter of coats and toys for kids for years, and I know it means a lot to you. Listen, my customers support me, and my employees work hard for me, and we can support you, and it's it's an effort from everybody, and it's thanks to my customers that we can do it. And 2,000 toys this year will keep a lot of kids happy. That's great. Thank you very much, as always. Jess, I'll let you guys take it away, because we also are, it's also the year of the hand-knit uh, hats and mittens. Yeah, we've had three huge donations of I think over a hundred either mittens or gloves <laughs> or hats or whatever each and we've we got going, another one here. Are we going inside? Do we have a yeah. plan? It's no, cool. no, I don't, I don't know. know. I just wanted we show people what we got. Yeah. Too. Let's yeah. go, go All right. ahead. All right. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> we have tons of toys. We have tons of coats, a couple boxes so far. We estimate, I don't know, probably around a hundred or hundred and fifty coats so far. Look at this. Use my meteorology skills to show up. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, what do we have? What do we, we have? Got, uh, oh, look at some science kits. Yeah. Science kit right here. This is, uh, this was actually brought individually, I feel like. People, yeah, it was. They, they know what we're into and uh, they, they appreciate that we like the sciences. Yeah, we have some, I guess I need the mic. We have some games too, so pretty fun stuff here. What else do we have? Uh, um, I don't know. Some dogs. I don't know if you know. I like, I like dogs. So okay. We Are we going to, we're going to have to help Big Al, um, we gotta unload, unload some stuff. Yep. And let me just say, Ryan is doing a great job anchoring today. He's awesome. We're really breaking into all kinds of different areas here. <laughs> yeah. So we're having a great morning. Come see us in Augusta. We've got to go visit Waterville, don't we? Yes. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And here we are in Waterville, we being me and also Cindy and Viv, and we'll talk to them in a second. But how awesome is this? There's an ELF checkout right here at the Hannaford in Elm Plaza in Waterville. It's perfect. Elm Plaza being a little ironic because I don't think there are any elm trees in Maine anymore, but that's a story for a different day. Anyway, we started a little slow here. This is one of the newer locations. This is the third year we are collecting uh, toys and coats in Waterville. And it's just begun to pick up just a little bit. Oh, somebody's coming in here. Oh, I thought Cindy was coming to talk to me. So we've gotten some coats and we've gotten some toys and included is this yo-yo. And I think that's awesome because you know, you get all these high tech toys these days, but you gotta have a throwback toy every now and then. And it's so hard for me not to open this and play with it myself because I was amazing at yo-yo when I was a kid, just saying. Um, so what have we collected? Who else is here? Come on over, we'll talk to Viv and Cindy who are manning the box and uh, we've got some elves here helping us out as well. We just had some more coats come in and I, I, I can look at this, how cute is that? Brand new, you know, I know Big Al was just at our, in Augusta, I believe, yes. right? We're not that far away, Al. <laughs> you could have come here, but this is what you missed. I just want to see what the Nelsons from Carmel, who always make goods for Coats and Kids, uh, Coats and Toys for Kids Day, and they always take them to Bangor. But this year they decided to come see us in Waterville. <laughs> so we have cake and we have hot cinnamon rolls right out of the oven. So take that, Al. <laughs> All right. 
Well, guess what? We also have some really awesome elves helping us out today who work at News Center Maine. I'll walk over here. You guys are Hi, I'm Jen Simpson. I'm Dee Dee Rogers. Right, and you're also part of a group chat that's keeping track we of all are. our locations across the state. How are we doing so far? Um, we're lagging. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need some help in Waterville. Uh, they are beating us in every location. Well, we're, we're going to catch up, right, Jen? That's a fighting yeah, spirit. We also have something neat going on at every location. You can sign up to win free tickets to the Magical Mystery Tour, which is taking place at the Merrill Auditorium in Portland, December 28th. It's right over here, Derek. Let's check it out. So when you come by and see us, sign up to win Woo! these tickets. There's five tickets per location, right, Jen? That is Make correct. sure we get it right. So. Yep. So come out, help us out, you know, help needy kids, have fun with us, and sign up to win some tickets. So we're going to send it to Newport, where Sam, Chloe, and Hannah are standing by. <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> this close, this close. <laughs> Hi everyone, good morning. Yes, yeah, so we've been here since about six o'clock and this is our second year here at the Newport location. We've seen a couple of pretty big donations come in so far today, so that's pretty exciting. And one of them I was excited about, I was slightly obsessed with stuffed animals as a kid, 44 Beanie Babies from one really kind woman. Um, all brand new, they still have the tags on them. Um, and you're holding a pretty interesting bird, I think it is, Samantha? Yeah, so I'm holding Beak the bird. I liked it a lot because I thought he was kind of ugly but cute and <laughs> Chloe seems to know what kind of a bird this is I it's, don't know it's a kiwi bird from New Zealand just putting that out there so someone yeah we don't even need to fact check it because yeah. we know what that is but yeah Lee was just talking in Waterville about the the throwback toys and this is really one of those mm -hmm. uh, situations for us we've also got this bear over here which I like a lot because he kind of matches my outfit um, and he's got a little tag on him that says from the year 2000 yeah. and his tag is so pristine a woman says she caught us at six o'clock this morning in our first shot and and uh, came right over with all of these Beanie Babies. It was really sweet. Well, yeah. I think you really said it with the year of the classic toys. <laughs> I personally, I wasn't a huge Beanie Baby guy growing up, but I did love the game Sorry, and we have that here. We have a few other games, too. So it's not just coats that are really going to help the community here yeah. in Maine. It's toys, too, that can really bring a smile to someone this holiday season. And we're a little slow to start, but we've just been getting some coats coming in. We got a really nice donation mm -hmm. just about five minutes ago as we saw uh, 10 coats come in. There's certainly more to come, and that's just so exciting. Samantha, this is the second year in a row that we've gotten to be together. There's just something about this day, about how many people it helps that is really just inspiring and fun to be a part of. And it's the second year for us here in Newport as well, which is really exciting for this location because exactly. obviously there are folks out here that care so much, you know, about giving this holiday season and have already come and visited us this morning. But yeah. for other folks who are out there and watching, come on down. We want to get your, those coats and toys to kids this year. Yeah, absolutely. And Chloe, it's your first Coats and Toys for Kids yeah. out in the field. You must be loving it. Yeah, I am. Definitely. Great experience. And now we're going to go over to another location in Auburn to see what the 207 team has been up to. Hey, guys. This is actually a first, too, for Bath. It is. I'm having a great time. We're here in Auburn, and we're collecting toys and coats for kids. We've had some pretty great toy collections so far, and I think our Mr. Rob Caldwell is actually enjoying the bicycle that got dropped off by a lovely couple in Jay, just like riding a bike, right, Rob? There you go. <laughs> it's my 20-inch Rock It model. Uh, even with my long, willowy legs, it's a reasonably good fit. So anyway, but what, what matters is this reflects the generosity of people who are coming by and right. you know we ask for new unwrapped toys well this is one heck of a toy yes that uh some child in maine is going to find on christmas day and we really appreciate folks who do this kind of thing we also too have gotten quite a few cash donations and some change we've got the salvation right. army over here with a couple of elves <laughs> lydia and rachel are fifth graders and they're here helping us which we really appreciate i also made my dad stay because he stopped by <laughs> and i'm pretty sure he brought so far the favorite coat absolutely the cutest coat so far it's like a unicorn colored and it's really soft inside some little girl is gonna love this it's Keith Carson two. size juice, medium. Yeah. Or Keith Carson, he could wear it, yeah. yeah. yeah this would look good on air for him. It's yeah. like a rainbow, Keith. <laughs> Don't give Carson ideas. He'll be snagging that thing. <laughs> so we have had a couple of great donations, but we could use some more. So come on out to Shaw's in Auburn. It's right on Center Street, and have fun with us. We also got this lovely sheet cake that we are willing to share if necessary. So come on by, get some food. 
makes yeah. a great breakfast. Yeah, anybody who comes by and gives anything, we'll give you a slice of the cake as long as it lasts. How's that for a deal? <laughs> Back to you, Jess and Ryan. Oh, I don't think it's going to last too long with you guys, so you better get out there. I want a piece of cake. <laughs> exactly. All right, thanks, guys. Now, if you can't make it out to one of our Seven Coats and Toys for Kids locations today before noon, because that's how long we will be there, there are other ways to donate as well. That's right. You can bring your gently used coats or new unwrapped toys to any of our drops off sites at Hannaford, Shaw's or Pratt Abbott locations around the state. We'll be right back. Stay with us. One minute there, Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. I'm a New York girl from the Bronx. You get in JLo's way and you're going to pay. Look, no smash mouth. Yes, I like this. You're on in 10 seconds. You are not going to mess up my chance of being the Puerto Rican Connie Chung. <laughs> I'm such a huge fan. I feel like I need to get your autograph. It was masterful. I'm super excited to be here at Holton Southside School today, celebrating, planting over 55 trees that are going to give back to this local community for years to come. I taught here for five years, so it's really fun to come as a TD employee and plant trees with former students and former colleagues. We are going to be growing, I think, apples because it's good for the environment and it's probably good for your health. TD Bank is a proud sponsor of News Center's Six Who Care. Keep left. Your smartphone. You yards, say left, left, but there is no left. Recalculating. Transform your travel with the Amtrak Down Easter. Sit in spacious seats. Dine at the Down Easter Cafe. Get up and walk around. Access free Wi-Fi. And best of all, connect with family and friends. So next time, smartphone, I'm not doing directions. It's time to take the train. So the guy... All right, we are at the Hannaford in Samford. I got Sharon, I got Todd, I got Zach. Literally 20 seconds ago, and you're going to see it on social media in a minute, they just stopped eating so they could come do this. I've been I'm basically doing. doing all the heavy <laughs> lifting <laughs> while they've been sitting here eating the whole time. Um, the donations have been unbelievable. Yeah, they have. I mean, they always are, and it's always so heartwarming. And certainly today, we've just had a steady stream of people yep. giving, which is amazing. It's, it's been incredible, and it always is every yeah. year, including cash donations. Cash, coats, toys, toys all of it. Yeah, it's been yeah. great. So we're doing great. We're loving it here. Come out and see us. Come say hi, please, please, please. Yeah. There's no eating going on here at the Shaw's and Main Street in Bangor, but we have been collecting net, uh, new and gently used coats all morning. We'll be here until noon doing the same. And we have boxes already set up waiting for those coats and, co and toys to come in. And we actually are having uh, some brand new coats coming in by the literal bag load as Jackie Mundry showing all of the coats that we're getting at the literal moment. So feel free to come down until noon right here at the Shaw's in Bangor. We'll be here waiting for your new or gently used coats and new toys. And you might recognize the people who are with us now. We've just gotten a major influ influx of toys and bikes mm -hmm. from Santa and Mrs. Claus. They're really from the Oddfellows Lodges in Portland and South Portland. Why, and you guys say you do this every year? Yes, we do this every year. Why do you want to do this? Because there's so many children and people that need uh, help. They need stuff like this. Uh, no, no child should go without a toy on Christmas. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for coming and bringing all the donations that you did. And making the rounds. Good to have <laughs> the, the, the man and the, and the woman themselves here. Thanks for coming. All right. Where are we sending things to? I don't know. All right. Someplace magical. Somewhere. <laughs> and we are at... Uh, <laughs> all right. And now we're at the, at, at the Hannaford at Coney Circle in Augusta. Don Kerrigan, Jess Connolly, Keith Carson. And we've had lots of generous people. Yeah, we've had a bunch of toys. We just got a, several more. We have so many toys, they're falling on the ground. We just got a bunch more jackets here, too. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, also, my mom just texted me and said that I need a, a shirt like Big Al's shirt over there. <laughs> and I said, I don't know if they make that in Smedium or not. 
if so, I'm interested. Amazon, and, yeah, Amazon is medium one to me. But yeah, come see us. Uh, you do not have to talk to me to donate. No, you don't. <laughs> so that's a plus. Us. Yeah. I don't know where we're sending it I don't either. Know. <laughs> Someone take it. Yeah. I love that. Hey, guys, we're going to pick it up. Hey, guys, we're here at the Hannaford at Elm Plaza. I'm here with Cindy and Lee, of course. And it, things started kind of got started a little slow, but we've had a we're lot of things pick, pick up. up. Pick and up. what's really been amazing, guys, check out this bowl here. Yeah. Look at all the donations that have come in. This woman just walked up to us and handed us some, a wad of cash. So again, you can make donations at these locations. Right, That's Cindy? right. And the money is going to go to the Salvation Army to help provide additional things for families in need this year. So great way to donate, especially if you're just coming through and you weren't prepared with a coat or a toy. Yeah. Interesting marketing plan, too, for Keith saying you don't have to talk to him. He's nowhere near here, so that's another reason to come here in Waterville. Well, there's a lot of excitement going on here in Newport. We're at the Hannaford on Moosehead Trail. Sean, Chloe, and Samantha, and we've already had some great donations coming in. We showed you those Beanie Babies earlier, and it's really starting to flow. Yeah, thank you so much to everyone who has donated, and to anyone who wants to. We're going to be here until noon today, so please stop by if you're interested in giving back to kids. We're really excited. This is the second year we're here at this Hannaford in Newport at this location. So definitely stop on by. Relive your childhood memories with these uh, Beanie Babies with us. <laughs> We'll be here until noon. Hey guys, we just got a really great donation here at the Shaw's in Auburn from Christine Fox with St. Dominic Academy. Um, kids there have just been collecting coats and winter clothing all year long. They do this every year, and in the last five years, they've brought us about 500 coats. That's awesome. This is one of the really nice service projects, and it's always great when we get a group that's involved because yeah. that obviously magnifies the effort, but we appreciate everything that people do. As you can see, the folks are coming in right Hi at this guys. very moment here at the Shaw's <laughs> in Auburn. We'll be here throughout the morning. Hope to see you a little bit later. All right, thank you guys. We gotta wrap it up, but thank you so much for joining us in the first of two of our new Center Main Coats and Toys for Kids specials. We're back on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. and then here on TV at 11.30. Have a great morning. At Patrons Oxford Insurance Company, we are prepared for anything. Maine winters range from...